Familiar faces in new places. The 2011 Rochester Nighthawks have a new look to them, but a same great style of play. The Rochester Nighthawks take on the Toronto Rock tonight from the Blue Cross Arena. Hello everyone, welcome into the Blue Cross Arena. I'm Brendan McDaniels alongside Bill Warner. Glad you could join us for the 2011 home opener for the Rochester Nighthawks. And Bill, when you take a look at this team, a lot of different faces for this team, but let's start with the Toronto Rock. They've got a familiar place leading the way for them. Colin Doyle, he's the heart and soul of this Toronto Rock team. Well, if you look at Colin Doyle, he's such a confident leader. He's one of those players that doesn't need the ball on a stick to be effective. He can dish it off to, to Billings or LeBlanc. And, but if he does have the ball on a stick, he can dominate a game. He's such a big body, uh, highly skilled, and he can use that lean in with a big body, use his left hand, and if Rochelle lets him get to the net, he's going to score some goals tonight. That's right, Colin Doyle is the guy that can make a lot happen for this Toronto Rock team. We talked about some new faces. For the Rochester Nighthawks, we'll get to the new goaltender, Matt Vince, in a second. But this is the guy of the hour, Cody Jamison, the 2010 number one overall draft pick. Years in the waiting, he's finally a Nighthawk, and Billy gets as good as advertised. Well, when you, when you talk about Cody, you just talk about a winner. And he's won at Syracuse. He's, he's won at the major series level. He's won at juniors. Uh, he uses his body so well. He's a left-hander. He has a pretty deceptive kind of a twister shot, if you want to look at him, uh, when he plays. But he, he rocks a little bit. He, he can really get to the net. He's just a phenomenal winner. Well, in the backstop, Matt Vince came over in the big trade that sent John Grant Jr. to Colorado. And Vince, the reigning National Lacrosse League Goalie of the Year, he is one of the bright stars in the National Lacrosse League, and he was a big difference maker last week against Minnesota. Well, you look at Matt Vince, and he's a goaltender that, that can win the game for you. He's, he's a guy that if no one else plays well and he plays his best, you're going to win the game. And I like, I like the chance of having a goaltender like that. And coming from Orlando, if you if you look at what he did when he was in Orlando last year, coming into this building, he dominated Rochester when he was with the Titans. Well, he dominated a lot of teams last year en route to the NLL Goalie of the Year last year. But earlier today, Craig Rybzinski had a chance to catch up with the new assistant coach, Paul Day, to talk about the brand new goaltender. Yeah, he's going to have a huge role. I spent the, the uh, winter with him last year in Orlando and uh, got us uh, to the division final and uh, against Toronto last year and uh, you know he's the best goalie in the world and he's going to take this organization uh, a long way in 10 years. And you hear that he's going to take the team long term down the road and when we take a look at your keys tonight Bill it's a great goaltender matchup because on the other side the veteran Bob Watson seems like he's been playing forever but this is going to come down to who plays better in that net. Well, I think Matt Vince was about six years old when Bob Watson started his NLL career so you have two of the best goaltenders in the league you know Bob Watson last week had I think about 40 saves and I was talking to Pat Campbell before the game and you know he said that Bob played unbelievable and you know as he goes to Toronto Rock will go and so if he plays well tonight they're going to win the game. Also, you take a look at second chance opportunities. Rochester had a lot of turnovers last week. They need to clean that up. Yeah, I think the second chance, once Toronto gets that shot off, the Rochester defense has to do a better job of getting those loose balls. They are a little bit quick on the defensive end, so uh, you get those loose balls up, you start your offensive transition, it's going to translate into more goals on the scoreboard, less goals for Toronto. That, it's such an important part of the game tonight. And lastly, you're going to take a look at the transition game tonight. Who's faster out of the box is really going to dictate this game? Well, I look at the Toronto defense, and you have some guys that can, can really get out and push, push the pace uh, from the Toronto defense to the Toronto offense. So if you watch the, the Rochester Nighthawk offense, they have to do a great job of getting off, letting their defensive guys get onto the floor. That's going to limit the Toronto opportunities. It's going to allow Rochester to be better defensively, limit their second chances, which will then in turn create more transition for Rochester. So it's going to be, you got to watch the substitution battle, and that's really where tr transition is going to start tonight. Well, getting this game started tonight, Rochester has never lost to Toronto in the regular season in this building. They are 15-0 all-time in the regular season. By the way, Rochester has never started a season 2-0 since the year 2000. Craig Grzynski and Bill Warner have the call for you on the Rochester Nighthawks Toronto Rock game right after this on the Rochester Nighthawks Broadcast Network.